The preventative maintenance program implemented back in 2015 by the City of Aranda's past Public Works Department for its fleet of 25 plus vehicles and equipment such as backhoes, rollers, pavers and mowers is finally paying off. This approach that was put into place by Public Works Director Fernando Quintanilla was meant to improve accuracy and consistency while also reducing the overall cost to maintain the vehicles and equipment. Between 2013 and 2015, the city was spending more than $194,000 a year. With this program, it's, we try to prevent as much as possible and to help uh, prolong the life of our vehicles and equipment. And like we mentioned before, we've gone from spending up to 194000 in a year uh, to we're down to under 100000 uh, now with more departments added to, to the public works. Every uh, individual gets a, a sheet that they can use as a checkpoint uh, for every single vehicle. Every time they get in a, in a vehicle before their first trip of the day, they fill it out, they do a thorough check of the vehicle, walk around it, check for dents, scratches, report anything that's wrong with the vehicle. Uh, if it's uh, minor, they just document it on the sheet. If it's something major, it gets reported immediately to the mechanic. Uh, those sheets are then turned into their supervisors uh, throughout the week. At the end of the week, uh, on a Friday, they all get submitted to the mechanic for his review, and then he files them away. Many say this program is a waste of time, but city officials say this is a way they can hold their staff accountable. The next phase to the preventative maintenance program will have every department getting a PM day. Uh, the vehicles and equipment for their department, and in each individual in that department is assigned a certain number of vehicles and equipment that they are responsible for. On those days, they spend four hours in the morning where they do a full uh, maintenance uh, check on all the equipment and, and the vehicles. They do grease, they check oil, tires. On the mowing equipment, they check blades. Um, and at that point, they do any repairs that they need to and the mechanics available to help them. By 2021, the city's public works vehicle and equipment budget is projected to be $98,000, which is a win for the city and the community of Varenza's Pass. It's very valuable because in the long run it, it saves uh, money and then like I said mentioned before that money can be used towards infrastructure improvements or other operating expenses uh, rather than on equipment that we spend a lot of money on uh, and by prolonging the life of these the equipment and vehicles it saves money too because we don't have to be going out and purchasing as much as, as we used to.